we'll get one. Okay, we have to make We're currently on the Chattanooga Incline Railway. It is celebrating its 125th year. We're going a mile straight up onto Lookout Mountain. And it's only like 10 bucks each way. You may now exit back this way. of the Chattanooga Incline Railway and I kind of have some feedback for it. So was the railway cool? Yes. Was it informative? Absolutely not. I got no information on what to expect when I came up here. I got no information about the history of the area while coming up. I have no idea what I was looking down at and it is a beautiful view. So now we're at the top. We're gonna try and find something to do. And I just feel like they could have given us a little more information. There's like a little snack shop inside, but I came here to learn about the area and I got nothing. I got some views, but I got nothing that I can retain up here. Let's go find some information. What about those views? They look good, but I don't know what I'm looking at because no one said anything. And then they let us off in a neighborhood. So it says Ruby Falls that way, Rock City that way, Point Park that way, but almost as if I need a vehicle. And obviously I don't have mine because we caught the railway upwards. So, oh wait, there's viewing areas that we didn't know about. Let's go try and see what we can do up there. Cause now we're in a neighborhood, that's weird. They're nice houses though. It's a nice neighborhood. You wanna say how observant we are? Yeah. So we walked right out of this door behind us and we walked right past this sign telling us where we could go. We also passed the sign for the observation deck. So maybe we should take back our statements from earlier, but I still wish they gave us information while we were on the tram. We finally found a little bit of information and it is down the hallway with the bathrooms, but it's pretty cool to see some of these nostalgic photos. Whoops, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> no, you're okay. Just three blocks away from the railway incline is one of a, it's a historic Chattanooga battlefield. It says it's three blocks, so we're gonna walk that way and see if we can um, find it. As we walk three blocks west of, maybe north, actually, I'm not really good at telling directions. We're walking to the right of um, of the railway incline. Actually, there's a castle right there. Huh. So walk a little bit away from the incline once you get up here. There are also million dollar homes up here. At least in my mind, they're like a million dollars. I don't really know. I don't want to get in their pockets, but a castle. So it's not a castle, Mariah, but where do we get to? We made it to a national park. For an additional fee, you're able to go in, you're able to see um, through the park, the Department of Interior, you're able to see, oh, there's some more other stuff down there. That looks free. This is paid for, so I don't know if we're gonna do that because we just spent like 30 bucks on the incline. So we're gonna walk around a little bit more and find something a little bit cheaper. I'm gonna do it. This is what way you can be like, of a gun. What'd you say? You're not supposed to look down a barrel of a gun. Why'd you do it? I think it might still be safe. I realized that while we're up here, I am not the best person to really talk about what we're experiencing, so I will let Sean take the lead. Well, there's also a lot of information that you could buy books from there about Abraham Lincoln, quote books. They also had a diorama theater in there. I think it was like about 10 to $11 to watch, so I'd be really interested to go and see that, but some cool things to look into, um, yeah. Also the castle that I was mentioning earlier, it's not really a castle, it's just a gateway entry to a national park, which has a lot of different um, overlook areas for the um, scenery. It also has a couple statues and just a little more information about some of the battles that took place here in Chattanooga. 
Mm -hmm. It also costs extra money, so all the extra stuff, if you were to do anything outside of the incline, it'll probably run you between 20 to 20, 30, 30 extra mm -hmm. dollars. So. Which if you're a history buff, worth it. If you're not... And if you're not, you're like me, you're like, okay, I learned about it, but I don't want to take a deep dive um, into it, so... Some other time. To each his own. I'm going to go look at the nice houses now. Long line? It is a long line. Is it worth it? Totally worth it. Really? Sort of. There you go. Better answer. Remember how we kind of compared this to a roller coaster with the incline? The wait time is like waiting for a roller coaster also. We've got about a 30 minute wait ahead of us. The Chattanooga Railway Incline is considered to be public transportation. Therefore, we are all mandated under federal law to wear facial coverings while on board. Anything? Ready to go. The car in which you are riding was installed in March 2020 and has many bits you don't have to move from your seat. The Incline Center Rail is used by Incline as an exciting experience with a trip to the top lasting over an hour. So the ride coming back was a lot better than the ride going up. On the way up, we had no audio, no information about anything that we were doing, but on the way back, it was so informative and I feel a lot better about the ride. So maybe all my complaints, I take them back. The ride back was a lot better than the ride going up. And I hope that your experience is a lot better than mine. Where were we? We're in Chattanooga. Yeah, but where were we? Oh, we were on top of Lookout Mountain. We'll point at it. Where is it? All the way up, a mile up on Lookout Mountain. Oh, there we go. Rumor has it that Chattanooga has the country's largest pedestrian bridge. Longest, not largest, longest pedestrian bridge. So we're actually trying to find it. We found the vehicular bridge or the automobile bridge, but we're trying to find the pedestrian bridge and we're walking right now. What was that? It said it's hot now. Mm. It's like that where you wear a coat because it's kind of cold and then you start walking and then it's really hot. And then you take your coat off and it's cold again, so it's like... And here we are getting started on the pedestrian bridge. The Walnut Street Pedestrian Bridge is over 2,000 feet long and it is the country's longest pedestrian bridge. Oh, you mean like how the wood like separated? Yeah, this is nowhere near as scary. 